something you've been impacted in a data breach can be scary, but there are things you can do to protect yourself. Joining us now is Bobby Hansen from the Better Business Bureau. Bobby, thanks for being here today. Yeah, thank you, Jackie. What are some things to keep in mind if you get a notification that you've been impacted in a data breach? Yeah, this is a topic that you know we thought would be relevant here. Uh, it, it's happening so much. It's happening yeah, it's not daily, but weekly. We're getting uh, alerts that that someone else, some major corporation, a hospital, a, a hotel chain, or right. in this case, AT and T is where I got the alert. Mm -hmm. I'm an AT&T customer and you get an email that says your information was part of a data breach which hacked 75 million phone numbers. So they give you steps that you can do to protect yourself, but basically what they want you to do is, is check your credit reports. Okay. Uh, make sure that no one has opened up credit in, in your name. So uh, check with the three uh, uh, credit reporting agencies, Equifax, uh, Experian, and mm -hmm. TransUnion. What they did in this case, AT&T did, was offer you one year of free service at Experian. And so you sign up, you go in there, and then uh, you can check your credit. And uh, I advise everyone to check your credit for free yearly. Exactly. Always a good idea to keep. And we always talk about every week of things you can do to keep yourself safe. But in something like this, yeah. there's really nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. You're, you're, and that's the biggest concern that, that we have as a Better Business Bureau is to try to educate businesses, large and small, that the number one thing you have to do is protect your consumer's data. Protect mm -hmm. those cre that credit card information because scammers are out there and they're, they're, it's ransomware that they're, they're attacking these, these places with. But you, you can sign up once you do get that notice with a AT&T uh, or whoever it might be is sign up for that free service, uh, yearly service, and then uh, put a credit freeze so no one can open up credit without first checking with you. The company will check with you. Then you'll know right away. And, and that, you know, you can easily uh, click it off uh, online if you need it to get a new cell phone or whatever it might be. But a lot of okay. people don't need credit right now. Just put a credit freeze on that. So protect your social security number and personal information, Jackie, at all costs. And then if, if you really want a good protection, sign up for a paid service, you know, like a LifeLock or an Aura, where they pay a monthly fee and, and they'll monitor your credit every day. Yeah, that's absolutely something you can do in advance before you get that notification. Yeah, it, just something you can do. and Just be vigilant. Uh, number one mm -hmm. thing that we're telling people is is to check your credit every day. You know, your credit cards will have sometimes a free service for that, and they'll, they'll alert you if there's something unusual on activity going on in your on your account. Yeah, good to keep in mind. Bobby, thanks yeah. for being here today. Thanks, Jackie. Jan?